Welcome to the 2022 Monthly Seasonal Outlook Podcast by Predictive Services. The latest El Nino Southern Oscillation conditions show that moderate La Nina conditions continue across the tropical Pacific Ocean. La Nina is forecast to slowly weaken over the summer, with weak La Nina to end so neutral conditions by early fall. The latest three-month evaporative demand drought index shows that high evaporative demand has occurred across much of California, the Southwest, and the Central and Southern Plains over the past 90 days. Much of the East Coast has also experienced above average evaporative demand with the highest demand over the Carolinas and Florida. A wet spring has helped lower eddy values for the Northwest, Idaho, the Northern Rockies, and portions of the Northern Plains. The latest three-month evaporative demand drought index shows that high evaporative demand has occurred across much of California, the southwest, and the central and southern plains over the past 90 days. Much of the east coast has also experienced above average evaporative demand with the highest demand over the Carolinas and Florida. A wet spring has helped lower eddy values for the northwest, Idaho, the northern Rockies, and portions of the northern plains. The latest energy release component values show that the driest fuels are in the southwest, southern Great Basin, and southwest Colorado. Fuels are drying in California, and dry fuels persist in portions of the northeast and northern Great Lakes. The latest U.S. drought monitor shows that drought continues across most of the west and into the plains. Drought persists across portions of the Gulf Coast and the Carolinas, with drought also being observed across portions of the least sides of the Hawaiian Islands. Extreme to exceptional drought is occurring across much of California, Oregon, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. Over the next three months, drought is forecast to improve across portions of southern Arizona into southwest New Mexico due to the monsoon. However, Drought is likely to persist or intensify across much of the west and into the plains, with drought possibly expanding into portions of the upper Mississippi Valley as well. The latest Climate Prediction Center June outlook shows that above normal temperatures are likely across most of the southern two-thirds of the United States, with drier than normal conditions across portions of the central Intermountain West into the central and southern plains. Above normal precipitation is also likely across portions of the northern Gulf Coast into Florida. The latest Climate Prediction Center three-month outlook through August shows that above normal temperatures are likely across much of the continuous United States. Alaska is also forecast to have above normal temperatures. Below normal precipitation is likely across much of the northern Intermountain West into the plains. Above normal precipitation is likely along the East Coast. And then above normal precipitation is also likely across portions of southern Arizona into southwest New Mexico due to the monsoon. Moving on to the significant wildfire potential outlook for June shows that above normal potential is forecast across most of the southwest into the southern high plains. Above normal potential will also expand during June to much of Colorado and the Southern Great Basin. Above normal potential is forecast across most of Northern California into Central Oregon, as well as portions of the Black Hills and Northern High Plains. Above normal potential is forecast for the lee sides of the Hawaiian Islands in June that will continue through September. In July, significant fire potential is forecast to return to normal across the southwest, western Colorado, and southern Great Basin due to the onset of the monsoon. Above normal significant fire potential will continue across the southern high plains and then expand northward to include much of the northern and central plains into the western mid-Mississippi Valley. Above normal potential is forecast across northwest Utah as well. Above normal potential will continue across much of Northern California and expand into the Sierra Front of Western Nevada, as well as most of Oregon and Central and Southeastern Washington. In Alaska, 
Significant fire potential is forecast to be normal during the peak fire season months of June and July. However, short-term bursts of higher potential are possible during periods of above normal temperatures and lower than normal relative humidity. Moving on to August, above normal significant fire potential will continue across much of the plains into the mid and upper Mississippi Valley. Above normal potential will expand into portions of southeastern and southwestern Idaho. Above normal potential will continue across northern California and much of Oregon into central and eastern Washington. Above normal potential will also expand across the central coastal mountains of California as well as much of the central and southern Sierra. In September, significant fire potential will continue to be above normal for much of the plains into southeastern Idaho and Montana, east of the Continental Divide. Above normal potential will continue across central Washington and central and western Oregon. However, significant fire potential will return to normal across the grasslands of southeastern Washington and the rangelands of southeastern Oregon. Above normal significant fire potential will continue across all of northern California in September, as well as the central and southern Sierra. Above normal significant fire potential is also forecast for the central California coastal mountains into the southern California transverse and peninsular ranges as well. Moving on to a region-by-region region breakdown of the outlook, Alaska is forecast to have normal significant fire potential through September. June and July are normally the peak months for fire activity in Alaska. For the Pacific Northwest, above normal potential is forecast to spread from central Oregon in June to much of Oregon and eastern Washington by August. Normal significant fire potential return to the rangelands of eastern Washington and eastern Oregon in September. Across California, above normal significant fire potential is expected for most of North Ops through September. South Ops is likely to have near normal significant fire potential into July before the coastal mountains and Sierra increase to above normal by September. For the Northern Rockies geographic area, normal fire potential is forecast for June with above normal significant fire potential for Montana east of the Continental Divide from July through September. In the Rocky Mountain area, above normal potential is forecast across much of Colorado, western Kansas, and the vicinity of the Black Hills in June. Western Colorado returned to normal fire potential in July due to the monsoon, but above normal potential was spread across the plains and most of Wyoming in July, continuing through September. Across the Great Basin, significant fire potential will be above normal for the southern Great Basin in June before returning to normal in July. Above normal potentials forecast in July for northern Utah and then across portions of central and eastern Idaho and western Wyoming August into September. For the southwest area, above normal significant fire potential is forecast for June except across southwestern Arizona. Fire potential will return to normal in July due to the onset of the monsoon and then continue near normal through September. For the eastern area, near normal significant fire potential is forecast through September. However, portions of the western mid and upper Mississippi Valley will be above normal in July and August. For the southern area, above normal significant fire potential is forecast for the southern high plains in June and will gradually expand east to encompass most of Texas and Oklahoma by September. Thank you for listening to the monthly Seasonal Outlook podcast by Predictive Services.